Five, Crystal Palace and Manchester United met in the semi-final at Villa Park, knowing that the winners would face Everton at Wembley. Until their historic meeting in the 1990 final and the subsequent replay, the two clubs had never played each other in the FA Cup. United's success that year proved the catalyst for further glory, but memories of the three-all draw in the first game still linger. United were missing their talisman, Eric Cantona, still suspended for his infamous Kung Fu kick on a Palace supporter in the league fixture between the two sides. The Eagles had a great chance to extract revenge for the defeat in the 1990 final. Villa Park provides a raucous setting for the second FA Cup semi-final between Crystal Palace and Manchester United. It's attracted a full house of just under 40,000 spectators. And so to the team that the Palace manager, Alan Smith, has selected. He's delighted to have Ian Dowie available again after suspension. He partners leading scorer Chris Armstrong up front. And he's equally pleased to be able to call on the experience of Ray Houghton. Only his third game for Palace since signing from Villa and an almost immediate return to familiar surroundings. Manchester United's biggest headache has been caused by the absence of Steve Bruce and it leads to the deployment of Roy Keane as a central defender. 19-year-old David Beckham keeps his place after a successful first league start against Leeds. Andy Cole is cup-tied, he played in the third round for Newcastle, so it's the reliable pairing of Hughes and McClare in attack. The man in charge, the referee, the Harrow schoolmaster, David Allery, well used to big occasions in the FA Cup. He took charge of last season's final. So, who will go forward to meet Everton at Wembley on May the 20th? Joe Royal's men have booked their place. Now it's down to Crystal Palace and Manchester United. Meeting for the first time since that explosive league game at Selhurst Park in January when Eric Cantona leapt into the crowd and indeed into some kind of folklore. Chris Coleman to take the throw for Palace, who have vociferous backing. You can hear the chants of Eagles, Eagles. Off goes Chris Armstrong. Referee gives the corner. Did quite an examination of Keane in central defence today. John Salako will take this. There is a shooting opportunity. It wasn't particularly inviting for Darren Pitcher. Southgate to Salako. Keane's had one bite at it and a second. Michael bowling it out. Dennis Irwin. Pallister. Hughes. And Irwin on. And a plunging save by Nigel Martin, who's taken a, a knock in the process. It was David Beckham that had the half chance. Lee Sharp involved in the move. Sharp's incursion, setting up the opportunity for the youngster. Houghton. Now it's Armstrong. And that'll be a corner off Roy Keane. There's a terrific atmosphere inside Villa Park, staging its 44th semi-final today. Salako. Michael came and got a piece of it and a second bite as well. And as always, he's got plenty to say. A veteran Young. Up for Salako's throw. And Michael again doesn't gather cleanly. 
And this is going to come for Ryan Giggs, who tries from halfway. Not quite enough elevation. Great vision to realise there was even the possibility. Just a quick look up, saw that Nigel Martin was ever so slightly off his line. And then did his utmost to exploit that. Once more, Young is forward. Comes back to Solarko. Armed away by Schmeichel. Only as far as Armstrong. And there's Dowie! Crystal Palace strike first. And it was the Northern Ireland International who applied the finishing touch. Schmeichel discomforted the first time. Armstrong retrieved the ball. Kept alive. And Dowie on hand to beat the Danish goalkeeper from point blank range. Manchester United coming into this game as firm favourites. Crystal Palace taking a week off from a fairly grim battle against the possibility of relegation. Now the side that have seized the opportunity and seized the moment. And here's Armstrong. And he's away from Keane. Chris Armstrong! Schmeichel got part of it. Enough to divert it wide. Could so easily have been two. And he knows it, Alan Smith. Credit to Schmeichel, he wins so many one-on-ones. Neville. Keane. Keane. Biting into the challenges again. And here comes Armstrong. Pallister across. The way things are looking, Manchester United will be grateful to see half-time. Chance to regroup. And for Alec Ferguson to have words. There's the goal scorer, Dowie. Solarko. And Schmeichel this time claims at the first time of asking. And there is the whistle for half-time. And there is the hero of the hour, Ian Dowie, whose goal after 33 minutes is the difference between these sides. Every chance of a surprise result here. Half-time score, Crystal Palace 1, Manchester United 0. Free kick is given. Richard Shaw turns away in disappointment. Paul Ince has placed the ball. Manchester United have only won one of their last four games in the Premier League. With Giggs. Pallister. And eventually Solarko will clear this. How much more of an onus on Pallister today without his regular partner. Neville with the throw. And Eric Young rises highest, concedes a corner. Pallister has made his way forward. In front of the near post, Giggs kick. 
Dowie's header. Shooting chance. Through the daylight was blocked out. Keen. And there's more concern now for Crystal Palace. More pressure from Manchester United. Neville. Palace just can't get the ball away. This time Gordon does. Armstrong. Held up by Sharp. There's Dowie. And the referee indicating that an arm was used to control the ball. Gary Neville. Floated ball in. Ins again. He's done well here, Paul Ins, and he's won a free kick. Which certainly angers Gareth Southgate. It's a lateral run and Southgate reached the point where he couldn't challenge for the ball cleanly. 20 minutes to play. And Crystal Palace still ahead through that first half goal from Dowie. In standing over the ball, a little further back is Irwin. And it's going to be Dennis Irwin who levels it up for Manchester United. Seemed to take a deflection off the wall. And that's what beats Nigel Martin. It flicked off the forehead of the unfortunate Houghton. And looped up and beyond the goalkeeper. Dennis Irwin, who scored in the quarter-final against Queen's Park Rangers, finds an equaliser in the semi-final against Crystal Palace. And that's what it means for the manager. Not long to go now. In fact, there is the whistle to end 90 minutes of hard combat. And this FA Cup semi-final, just like the 1990 final itself between these two sides, is heading into an additional 30 minutes. Crystal Palace get the additional half hour underway. Having led for nearly half of the game through Dowie, only to be pegged back by Irwin. Sharp. Sharp is away from Darren Pitcher. And there's a chance which is put just wide by Brian McClare. Really positive start to the additional period from Manchester United. Sharp's ball in, and McClare on the stretch, unable to control it sufficiently. Southgate. And he's fed Armstrong, and he's in here, and Armstrong scores! Palace are back in front. He is the most predatory finisher when he's in form. Southgate's punt played him in, and then a lovely cushion volley. Just took Schmeichel out of the game entirely. It's a terrific touch. Armstrong, two in the quarter-final replay at Wolves. And now restoring Palace's advantage here. David Ellery playing his whistle. We're booking here for Eric Young, I think.
What a moment for Chris Armstrong. Such presence of mind. One goal side of Roy Keane. Shows the elevated, lofted route. And bamboozled Peter Schmeichel. Certainly worth another look. So Manchester United's free kick. A bit of confusion in the Palace defence, but Keane has it. Richard Shaw. Manchester United growing in threat. Neville. Peel for handball from both sides. Neither of them given. It's only a corner. Ryan Giggs. Being applauded by those at the whole tent. And there's Nicky Butts. Well, tame header in the end. Not renowned as a goal scorer, the youngster from Gorton. 25 minutes away from a second FA Cup final. Everton already through earlier today with that thumping win against Tottenham at Allen Road. Armstrong's cross fielded by Schmeichel. And if Daniel Amakachi was the hero in that game, Chris Armstrong promises to play the same role in this. There's still time for Manchester United, and plenty of it. Pallister. Now Houghton. Now in chesting the ball down, made it comfortable for Keane and now Neville. Still the noise reverberating around this famous stadium. Neville. Swept away by Gordon. Once more, the big defender, Gary Pallister, lumbers forward. Neville with the long throw. And Pallister! Manchester United level again! Delighting their legions of supporters. Straight forward, really. The long throw from Neville. Pallister up highest at the near post. Beating Southgate and glancing the header into the corner. Perfect centre-half's goal from a set-piece. John Solarco. And there are some weary players out there now. Tied it up by Nicky Butt. Now Roy Keane. And Eric Young lets it run through to Nigel Martin. Now how much ambition do these two sides have left in these dying seconds? Prospects of a replay almost upon us. One last run from Giggs. And Giggs still going, and it was a good ball in, and Pitcher managed to get his foot on it, and then Young makes a brave challenge. And Palace clear their lines, and hope now for the final whistle. Eric Young still down. And Chris Armstrong. Is the time for another Palace attack, another chance. 
David Ellery looks at his watch a couple of times. As the cross comes in, there's no one there. And there is the final whistle to end a classic semi-final in which Crystal Palace twice had the lead through Dowie and Armstrong and twice were pegged back by Dennis Irwin and Gary Pallister. And few neutrals will complain at the prospect of another meeting between these two. The replay is scheduled for Wednesday night here at Villa Park. A goal each from central defensive pair Steve Bruce and Gary Pallister gave United a 2-0 win in the replay and they met Everton in the final but lost 1-0. Crystal Palace on the other hand experienced a decline in fortunes and were relegated from the Premier League that season.